What's up, everyone? It's Derek Pernasiglio from the Derek Pernasiglio Show. Jimmy Showtime Blewett is here. You know, he's been on a little podcast called The Dale Jr. Download, but we got to get you on ours. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get on it one of these days. I got to get down here for a certain amount of time, you know, uh, like today. You know, we came in last night, and then we're going to leave right after the race here. But once I get a little bit of, little bit of time with you, I'll uh, I'll definitely take you up on that. You know, I've been watching your show and and, and keeping up on who you, who you've had on there, and you know you've had some really special guests on there so far. So for uh, me to get the opportunity to, to get on there and uh, and speak a little bit about my family's history and, and, and my racing story uh, mean, mean a lot to me. You know, Joey Payne's guy like this bragging right now that he's been on now before you. So you're gonna have to show you know the Jersey Jet up. Yeah, Joey's a good guy. He's a good, good friend of mine. You know, uh, has always been in our corner back home. You know, uh, us Jersey guys, we stick together. But, uh, no, it, it was nice to see him on there and let him get a little bit of spotlight. You know, uh, I know recent years he's, he, he, people tend to rough Joey up a little bit. But, you know, they don't, they, they don't want to uh, look at what you've accomplished anymore in racing. They want to... Um, look at what you're doing at right at the moment you know and Joey has a lot of accomplishments and uh, did a great job in his career and like I said it was nice to see him uh, go on the show there and uh, open up and tell you guys a little bit about himself well we're gonna have to give you have you come on and tell a little bit about yourself of course the fans know about you but we'd love to get you on the show because the best part is is we're not like those other vanilla shows out there we talk real and uh, you know we don't bullshit we don't beat around the bush no you can't you know, uh, in this day and age, it's come down to that where you really can't you can't say anything. You know, it's like you curse, it's a problem. You say how you feel, it's a problem. But uh, that's what this sport was built around. You know, the Iron Men, the original guys, the Ralph Earnhardt, sure. the Ralph Earnhardt's, the Dale Earnhardt's, Grandpa Blewett, Tommy Baldwin Sr. You know, the list goes on and on and on. Charlie Jazanbeck, he was an old bullshit guy, and neither was Richie Evans. Right. You know, for, for that matter. But you know. Um, It'd be nice to get on there and open up, you know, Dale Jr., like you said, I was on his show. He, he does a, a really solid job of that, you know, bringing a um, very wide variety of people on his show, not just the celebrities, and I feel like uh, that's what racing needs. It doesn't need just the uh, just the guy that his father has uh, 10 tons of money and owns the big corporate company. You know, it needs the, the grassroots guys that uh, really hold the, are, are the glue that hold them all together for, for, for auto racing, I feel. And that's one of the great parts about it, Jimmy Blewett. He's one of those grassroots guys that also, you know, you, you've got a, a following on the higher levels that people notice you. But uh, today, talk about the race car. How's the car running? How do you like your chances today? And this is your first time here. What do you think of this place? I like it. You know, the track's wore out. It's got that, that Myrtle Beach feel to it. You know, Jamie and, and, and his family put a great car together for me. You know, uh, we didn't go out and practice looking, searching for that high number. You know, because me not being here and, and, and hearing the stories of the surface and how, how quickly the car goes away, um, we decided to unload at race trim and just practice the entire time at race trim. Really, we didn't make one adjustment to, to try to get any more speed out of the car. We just, like I said, we were focusing on uh, the complete long, long run speed. So um, I feel very optimistic. Every car that I got to in practice that was in front of me uh, was, was loose. You know, so um, and we weren't. So that uh, that gives me a good feeling going into into the future here. Um, you know, I just want to get going, get, get get into it, and try to get to that halfway point there and see where we're at at that point, and then uh, hopefully bring it home in the top three. You gotta get that dirt experience to come help you out a little bit tonight. Yeah, Slide definitely. No, definitely, <laughs> definitely. This place has definitely got some character to it. Um, it's it's a cool old track, you know. Coming here, I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's it's everything that uh, that would you would want. Coming down south, racing the history, you know, even the, the other divisions of cars out there, you see they're still rocking the uh, '57 Chevy bodies, you know, the late model chassis. You know, it's cool. It's cool. This is this is grassroots racing at its at its best, and uh, hopefully we can put on a good show for everybody that came out here today.